This week, we've got Breaking Bald, Harry Potter, Black Hawk Down, The Evil Dead, and The Hole. When Dave got to work, the studio had been taken over. What was this, who were all these weirdos, and why were they using Dave's studio without his permission? He decided to sit back and see what was going on. Other people started joining, it was turning into a circus. Dave thought maybe he was having one of his weird dreams, or maybe it was that cheese he ate last night. There was a young lady sitting next to Dave, which was okay, but her head seemed to be on fire. Then. The dream was becoming a nightmare, because, in walked a length of knotted black rope, that looked quite sinister, that couldn't decide where to sit. One hour later. That was starting to drive Dave crazy. Dave's skin was slowly turning Hulk green. And black rope guy, still had ants in his pants. A totally red guy came and sat next to Dave, showing black rope guy, how to do it. The guy to Dave's left, just suddenly died, and his pyramid-shaped head fell to the floor. Good boy Jack came over to have a look. Then a guy with the biggest ever blue head, that was leaving a trail of fire, walked in and sat down. This was the weirdest dream ever. If indeed it was a dream. One I'd not Dave, ran in and started operating one of the cameras. As Dave sat wondering, what was going on? Orange dude walked up to blue head dude, and at gunpoint, asked for his secrets in, head growing. Blue dude just replied, I'm smart. Totally red guy cracked up laughing, literally. And his Edam cheese head rolled off serenely. And a moment later he reappeared. For whatever reason, Dave now had a beer in his hand, and he offered some to Black Rope Guy. He declined, but insisted on eating the tin. Dave took a final swig, and gave it to him. Because this was a dream, Dave started to run in circles, like a dog chasing his own tail. What the dog doing? One-eyed not Dave, and Orange Dude, just stared at him. I'm up here, you morons! Big Blue Head sat down and seemed to be eyeing Dave up, like he wanted to eat him. This made Dave nervous. Big Blue suddenly jumped up and ran to the desk, with a trail of flames. Then a totally red dude, began breakdancing for reasons known only to himself. Dave went to ask Karen, why she had let all these idiots into the studio, but she had vanished. Dave suspected that Blue Head had eaten her, explaining why his head was so big. Big Blue Head snuck past, licking his lips and letting out a huge belch. Dave went outside for some fresh air. Dave spawned into the map. He had now turned into, a zombie. Shadow Pig flew off on a flying carpet, and exploded. His body parts came raining back down. The crowd were getting restless, they needed entertaining. Dave suggested they could all, come and inspect his hole. So they did. White Hat Guy had joined them. They hesitated at first, but then Dave led the way, with his new zombie walk, and showed them the hole. They all jumped in, one by one, Dave had a big hole, and it went deep. There was a tunnel which led off in several directions. He wandered down the tunnel until he came to a chamber. He was having deja vu. This was the second time, in as many weeks, 
he had been surrounded by a tribe of hay bales. And there, standing in front of him, was, King Hay of the Bale tribe. He had been hiding down here, with the remains of his army, after they lost the Hay War of 1853. Now Dave knew this had to be a dream, because only dreams are this messed up. Especially when you have a skeleton, dressed in day glow orange, standing on your head. He walked down a side tunnel, and found a prison cell, with an imprisoned Hay soldier in it. He told Dave, not to worry, he would soon be bailed. Like I told you before, I only read the script. Then somebody asked if they could eat the prisoner. Would you like chips with that? Dave went back to the studio. Karen had reappeared, and was taking a nap. Dave wanted to try and get the new show done. But he could hear somebody starting up the chopper. So ran back outside to see what was going on. Sure enough, somebody was riding Dave's chopper, and they were starting to shoot everyone. Dave urged all his friends to find cover. He wanted to get everyone into the pyramid, but the entrance was blocked. He started to push forward, but then became victim to the mighty miniguns. He respawned, which was their chance to get in the pyramid. Although, by now, it had all gone quiet outside. So he went back to see if it was safe to come out. The chopper had gone, it was okay to come back out. He opened a beer to celebrate. He must have been having a weird dream, but now he found himself running to a struggling helicopter that was close to crashing. People were trying to rescue the pilot, but somehow, good boy Jack, got caught on the side and was hoisted up into the sky. Come back! Come back! Come back! The helicopter came back and started shooting, just like in Dave's dream. Halloween Slippy, had her hair totally shot off. Turns out, she's as bald as Dave, but it had extinguished the fire on her head. Then it started raining bodies and body parts. Somewhere along the line, Dave had lost an arm. The psychotic pilot had no mercy until he came back down to earth but this time we all wanted revenge for crimes against hair pieces good boy jack managed to jump on pyramid head and one eyed not dave tried to get on too dave was in shock and just stood there with his one arm dave tried to get on but it was difficult with only one arm Halloween Slippy, who was now Noob Slippy, also tried to get on, but failed, because she was a noob. The helicopter rose off the ground, with three of the heroes, clinging on for dear life. It flew up and away, leaving Dave and Noob Slippy looking on. Newbie then noticed Dave was missing an arm. Dave noticed she was still missing her hair, and her Halloween costume. Just then, 
Psycho Chopper Boy was back. And our heroes were once again killed. Dave had had enough, so he sprang into action, this time jumping straight onto the heli. The pilot was the skeleton orange dude, aka, Shadow Pig. He had obviously totally lost his marbles, and gone on a killing mission. They were getting higher and higher, with Pyramid Head clinging to the outside. Under different circumstances, this would have been a great experience. The view of the studios below was awesome. Way above the studios they climbed, and then, without warning, Orange Dude jumped. The heli started falling, Dave also jumped, and landed back on it. They hit the ground, and Dave ran to avoid any explosion. There was none, and somehow, Pyramid Head managed to steal the heli. This was the 20th helicopter that Dave had bought, and he wasn't losing another. Orange Dude was quick to react and shot the thief down. It landed on the maze, damaging Dave's bush. But that was another story. Later that day, when things had settled down, Dave and Shadow Pig were having a drive. Somehow, Shadow decided to recreate the Harry Potter sketch with the flying car. Except we don't have a weeping willow to land on. Ron, are you sure you know how to fly this? Out of nowhere, Jack flew into view, and landed in a heap. Not sure how he managed that. Meanwhile, back at Chaos Central, we had an emergency. Somehow, two of the gang had managed to get stuck inside a block, yeah, nothing surprises me anymore. They wanted Dave to attend the scene, which he did, although there wasn't much he could do. They claim they have no idea what happened, so we have to assume, we have man-eating blocks lurking in Funland. Only one thing for it, they had to die. But only one of us has a gun. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this, if you would like to be in the next one, join us weekly, on Saturday. We have a Halloween special coming up on the 28th. We would love to get as many people as possible in the game. We're your best Halloween costume, and maybe there will be a prize for the best ones. So, hit the like and subscribe if you wanna. Be sure to check out the other videos. Thanks for watching, love ya.